In preparation for the walk, I showed the children a 3D landscape map of the journey that they would take for the short walk and the long walk. So they were able to take the, the visual trip. We'd stopped it and looked at different locations. They were able to say what symbols represented on the OS map and different things like that. They could uh, stop at different intervals, see how high they were above sea level, how close to sea level they were. And they found it really interesting. They looked at that, then they had a good understanding of what journey they would take when we got to Manabia. Okay, guys, what are you doing now? Then what's what's the what is the GPS tracking where you are? Then Luke. Yeah, because yeah. it says that in there. And hey. That little circle in the middle shows exactly where we are. As we've just been walking, we've just saw two male and female swans and ugly ducklings. Well, I shouldn't call them ugly ducklings, but them ducklings that haven't laid their white feathers yet. I'm taking a photo of some swans. That's a great photo. Now well, I'm just writing some facts about what I can see on this bridge and I'm going to take a picture in a moment. We're using voice recorder and, we, and I'm going to interview Naomi about the site. How, how do you think the site is? Do you think it's nice? Yeah, we can see all the different birds, uh, ducks and all different wildlife. I'm going to interview Ben now using the sound recorder, ask him his opinion about the view and what he thinks. Um, the, the things you can see are. And we've been using memory wrap going to each point. And we're now on point four, which is that one there. Point four and five. We spent two weeks following up after the initial trip. And the children were able to look at the PDAs, look at the photos that were taken, look at the coastal features. I think the children really benefited because in previous years we've had clipboards and they've been looking at sheets and plotting their route on the sheet. If you had a laptop it would just be too fussy to get it all open and then carrying it because it would be heavy.